We are traveling to Douala. Now, I grew up in a rural area. You know one thing about the rural area is that everybody is minding everybody's business and talking about everybody. Back then when I was younger, when we hear that a lady is moving to Douala to hustle, news is going to circulate that that lady is going to Douala to be a sex worker. Before my little eyes, I saw most of those aunties who went to Douala. They came back sick and most of them died of AIDS. Don't ask me how I know. Everybody knew everybody's business while we were growing up. One thing you need to know about Douala, if I haven't mentioned, is that Douala is the economic capital of Cameroon. And by default, it has extremes of the good and the bad. So why am I going to Douala? I have a quick wedding to do there and I'm very, very excited because I'm going to chop some money. Hey, see, I took this old spice deodorant from my cupboard and I wanted to put it in this bag. And I didn't know that it had burst. It fell on my big toe. The pain. Hey. And then I tell me, say, that pain is so you know, compared to labor pain, like it's just something. I'm traveling to Douala. I have a job, a wedding job to do. I just want to make sure that everything I need is going to be in the same space. Now, because I travel a lot, I try to make my trips to be as comfortable as possible. Like, normally, the fare to go to Douala is 3,500. But there are other options that are better than the 3,500 option. Now, with the 3,500 option, when you go to the bus station, you stay there till the bus is full and then you guys can leave leave but with other options that you pay like slightly higher like the vips the specific times that you leave the bus station now we have vips from five thousand six thousand seven thousand eight thousand ten thousand and we even have twenty thousand recently i saw this agency i don't know if any of you have used that agency it's called men's travel they have a section that is twenty thousand francs to go to Douala and basically it's just like a very comfortable space where you can just stretch and then the food that is given to you is like v, 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 VIP and all of that. Hmm. The VIP service that I like to use is that of United. It's 8,000 francs. They give you like a plate of, a small plate of food. So if you don't eat at home, you can have something to eat on the bus. And you know, it, it, it's it's feeling common, you know, all of that. But this time around, I didn't have the time to go to United because it's going to take me like a very, very long time. Especially in the afternoon because of traffic. I decided to go to Van. Van is like our biggest car park i always say this on this channel if you're going to van you have to be very careful because it's a very crowded place and they can easily just steal your head like you want to reach your house you don't see your head stuff like that so be very careful when you go to van that is one reason i don't like going to van because of the insecurity in that area i usually prefer agencies that are away from van that are more quiet if you want to go shop 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 at an affordable price you know you, you can use van today i am using phoenix i am paying for the vip and that cost seven thousand francs hey guys we are at they call this place Bumnyebe, but it's like the entrance to yaoundé i am so disappointed in this food like super disappointed because i didn't eat at home so usually i would take united and they give you like a small plate of food and eat that and you can take you like the entire journey so when i came to phoenix initially i didn't want to pay for the vv vip sorry there was police and i did not want it to feel like i was filming them initially I did not want to pay for the VV VIP. I wanted to take like a regular bus. That was more affordable. But the V VIP, like they were about leaving. So I was like, okay, just so I don't spend a lot of time in this agency, why don't I just pay for this? So when I took it, I was like, okay, it's also a very good idea because eventually I'll have something to eat. But sadly, they gave us just this um, dry bread and shambong. So we are here. I'm supposed to find something to eat. Because um, I'll not just be able. Yay. Before, when I used to get into VIP cars, they wouldn't stop you on the road. And I made a comment one day and I said, if criminals want to do like an activity in Cameroon, all they have to do is get into a VIP bus and nobody's going to stop them. But this time around, when I used the Phoenix bus, we were stopped on the road to show our IDs and all of that. It was very strange. I haven't experienced that with United, but with Phoenix, they did that. <laughs> I just got to Douala. So we get to Douala late at night. And because I didn't have something to eat, I had to go to the road and find myself some grilled fish. My 
hotel isn't far from here and I want to get grilled fish like right there yep famished but in a little bit my fish is going to be grilled and ready Whenever I go to Douala, I make sure that I don't leave Douala without going to the market. This is because it's the economic capital, things are affordable in this part of the world or in this part of the country. So if there's something on your list you've been wanting to buy and go to the market around your area. It's very expensive. When you come to Douala, that's the time you want to take advantage of your presence there and just get that thing that you want. So that's what I usually do when I go to Douala. I make sure I go to the market and just check, check, check my list, buy everything that's on my list that I did not want to buy in Yaoundé because it was so expensive. But this time around, I am not going to the market because it is a very, very quick trip. I have things to do in Yaoundé. Hey guys, good morning. I have a... I don't know what to say about the view I'll show you, but it's quite a view of Bepanda. It's 10. My bride's civil wedding session is at 12. So that means we are already like 30 minutes late because I need one hour 30 minutes to work. So she's supposed to meet me here after doing her hair. I've been waiting. I've been up since like 7 because I told you all when I have work, like I don't know how to sleep. I am a punctual makeup artist. I have work stuff ready and just waiting for her to show up. Okay, so yeah when she comes i'll show you guys a before and the after i don't know how that's going to work because we are already 30 minutes late like more than 30 minutes late so that gives me just one hour to work she's not yet here so whenever she comes the amount of time left that's the time i'm going to what's that person doing up there that's the time i'm going to have to work Oh, he's painting. Oh. Hmm. My bride finally came one hour after her civil wedding time. This makeup was done in such a rush and under so I much I think the pressure. company she gave was that the hair salon she had booked an appointment with did not open at the time they said they were going to open. So she had to look for another salon to do her hair and then the people were so slow. So she came late and then all of that happened. Oh my jehovah this happens a lot especially to the makeup artists and it's one of the things that i pray that i don't encounter during my work sessions because giving you no time and letting you work under pressure is not a thing that a makeup artist needs And that, my friends, is the life of a makeup artist. I had more time to work on the sister of the bride than I had to work with the bride, and which is quite unfortunate. So, um, the time is, um, oh my god, it's three past three. I want to catch the 4 p.m. bus, so I have to start going now. Like, yep, I'm quickly just packing my bags and going back to the bus station and traveling back to Yaoundé. We have come to the end of this video book me if you're looking for a makeup artist in cameroon i travel as you can see i just moved from yaoundé to douala i travel all around the country if you need a makeup artist my work page is red dot aesthetics is going to be right here you can check me out on instagram on facebook and let me know how you would want me to serve you thank you for watching this video and i will see you all in the next video Bye-bye.